for us on this Friday night talking about New York's growing recreational marijuana market and a new way for people to get cannabis products. And while Western New York has two now licensed dispensaries open at this point, you may not even have to go to a store. It turns out it's thanks to new cannabis e commerce platform and delivery service called Cantera, which launches next week. And joining me live right now to talk about it is the co founder of Cantera, Matt Krupp. So, Matt, I appreciate you coming in here. Um, I, I got to be honest with you, I, I had heard about delivery options when this was all being discussed at the state level and everything. I didn't realize this soon that a service like yours would be available. Um, walk us through how this is going to work. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having me on, Mike. I'm you know, really happy to be here. So we started about 18 months ago going through the process of getting licensed, of getting in compliance with everything the state wanted from us. And um, about uh, May 11th, we got our license, which was wonderful. And we've been working nonstop for the last two months to get everything uh, out of our space in compliance, the security features, our marketing plan, our platform, really, to give a great experience to all the, the customers that are uh, kind of in this community waiting for options from local farmers, from you know, regional processors, and even just from brands all across New York. Um, how do you see a delivery service like this fitting into the overall marketplace? What, who are um, the people you anticipate of being customers? And then also walk me through, I mean, we were talking, is this like Uber Eats or something? It's not, right, where you're, you're not going to have subcontractors out doing their own thing. These are people who work for you no, who so, will be doing it. So yeah, there's, there's, it is a little like Uber Eats it is in, in the sense it is on demand. Mm -hmm. So in some delivery service would have you schedule like on Wednesdays, maybe they do your area for us, uh, anywhere in Western New York. So that's all seven counties and actually including Rochester, Monroe County too. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna be offering pretty much same day within four hour delivery. Um, and we'll have a wide variety of products to start. And um, really what the focus is for us is, uh, we look at this, it's a great opportunity for the, the licensees that have got handed out, but they're all gonna pick the most populated areas. So mm -hmm. there's a ton of areas in Western New York, Jamestown, all over Cattaraugus County that, that have you know, populations that are interested in learning more about cannabis, interested in experiencing these products. And we really look at this as a way to, to really spread the availability uh, across our region. You talked about partnering um, with local farmers. Uh, that, that seems to be something important as you set up your business model here. Yeah, we really uh, look at it like it's not really about us. We kind of want to take a back seat because the people behind these brands, um, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I've had businesses all the way up and, and it takes so much to build something, to bring a product to market. And when I get to go out and meet these people, I see the effort that they put in, the passion that they have. And all we really want to do is let them connect with uh, their communities, with their, with their tribe, you know, with their cheerleaders and the people that love them the most. Um, finally, walk me through exactly sort of how this is going to work, right? You've got a website, um, you kind of go on, you add to your cart, you check out, put your information in. I mean, how, how specifically will it work for people? Yeah, very similar to that. It's very easy to like, uh, you know, the same kind of experience you might have on Amazon. You'll go on, you'll be able to browse by maybe our favorite picks or local farmers for your specific region. Um, you'll be able to select products based on potency. We actually have a really cool AI tool that's going to allow you to have recommendations. So it'll ask you questions like, what sort of experience are you looking for? You're going to the beach, maybe you're going to a comedy show. Do you want to relax after a hard day at work? And after you get done, it takes all that and it compares it to all the scientific data that we have. And it tells you like, hey, this is a product that you might really like. So even though you're not in store and you can't get that face to face experience, you're still able to get like a tailored recommendation. Um, and then like we make that purchase and we're going to pack it up. We're going to drive it to you, and when it gets there, then you have a face-to-face -face with your uh, mobile. We call them a mobile cannabis educator, so someone who knows all the products can answer any questions for you. And really, like if you just want to chat about how cool the experience was to be able to like go on your phone and, and place a cannabis order and get it delivered, you know, we're here to just create a great experience in that two minutes uh, when you get your delivery. Yeah, because you talk about the education component of this, because since this is so new, uh, having a legal cannabis market in the state, yeah. um, a, a lot of people just simply aren't going to, to know all of those things, right? How important is it for you to be able to sort of make that educational component part of it? It's the only priority we have, to be honest, in the first year here, is, is just dispelling all the myths that you might have, um, whether it's myths about what sort of experience you have on it, or I still meet people that think that their employers are drug testing them for cannabis, and that's, that's not something that happens in New York State anymore. I mean, certain jobs, you know, certain positions, you know, if you're working with machinery, if you're federal contractors, but there's just a general um, education gap between, mm -hmm. you know, what a fun, safe, uh, responsible cannabis experience can be. You know, there's beverages that are on the market, there's gummies, and these are really low dose. And um, the same way you might have just like one seltzer at, at a barbecue that makes you have a really nice, relaxed time, there's cannabis beverages that do the same thing. First deliveries next week? Yep.
All right. Next we, Friday. We'll, we'll keep following it. Uh, Co-founder of Cantera, Matt Krupp. Thanks for coming in. Good luck to you. Thanks. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me.